Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the layer system to organize your project. So let's get started by opening up the Layers Manager, which you can find here. And in here, you see a plus button that you can use to create a new layer. You can also just double click in here to create a new layer. And we are going to rename them to cube one and cube two. And now we want to assign objects to these layers. And we can do that either by just selecting the objects that we want to assign and dragging and dropping them onto the layer. We can also select the layer and then drag and drop it onto an object. But as you can see, it only has been applied to the top object here in the hierarchy. So if you hold down control while you release the left mouse button, you can assign the layer to all objects down the hierarchy. But you can also click this icon here and add two layers and so on. Cool, but what can we do with that? So first of all, I want to show you what all of these icons are. First of all, we can solo a layer, like so. We can also make it visible or invisible in the viewport. We can do the same for the rendering. We can also hide it in the hierarchy. And this is something that I like very much for rigging because sometimes you have objects that you don't want to see touched by an artist if you rigged a setup. And this is a perfect way to just hide it from other artists. Then another thing that I like to do when I rig stuff is locking objects. And now you can see that these objects are grayed out in the object manager. And also you cannot select the object anymore in the viewport. So that's also cool. Now let's show the next one, which is animation. Now, if I play back the animation and let's say we want to deactivate the animation of cube two, we just do that. And now you can see that the animation is frozen. All right. The next thing is generators. We can activate and deactivate all generators that are assigned to a layer using this icon. And let me adjust the display settings to show the lines. If I now disable generators here, you can see that the subdivision surface will be disabled for this cube here. And this would work with all of the other generators as well. Like every object that has a green icon will be disabled using the generator toggles in the layers manager. All right, now let me disable the lines here and let's go to deformers. That's deformers. We can enable and disable deformers. Now, if we play back the animation, you can see that the whole animation is there, but without the deformers. And then the last two are toggling expressions or xrefs. Great, now let me open up the material manager because you can also assign layers to materials. Also simply by dragging and dropping them onto the layers. And what you can see now is that tabs have been created per layer. So if you have a scene that is huge with a lot of objects, you can categorize your materials using layers. And if I go to the cube one tab here, I only see the materials of cube one. Here, these are the materials of cube two. These are not assigned to a layer and here we have all of the materials. We can also assign layers to tags and animation tracks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.